Norman Williams served in the U.S. Navy during World War II. He was a torpedo man and served aboard the Navy destroyer USS Herndon. On June 6, 1944, D-Day, the Herndon was positioned off the shore of Omaha Beach, effectively firing on enemy targets ashore. The Herndon received three battle stars for World War II service. Okay, so tell me your name. Norman Holbert Williams. And where are you from, Norman? I'm from Loudon, Tennessee. Okay. And where did you go to high school? Loudon High School. And what year did you finish high school? Well, after I finished high school after I got out of the Navy. <laughs> okay, so you, took a, you went to the Navy? Yes, sir. Okay. The Navy. So tell me about how you entered the Navy. Well, I was, I was drafted. Okay. And what year was that? In 19... 1943. Into the Navy. Yeah. And wh where did you go for training? Um, uh, <laughs> I forget everything. Wait That's okay. Fix it. Everybody discharged the Navy card and everything. Did you go to Great Lakes? Huh? Did you go up to Great Lakes for training? Yeah, I went to uh, No, it wasn't the Great Lakes. It was a uh, at our Morse from Morse to DC. Huh. Well, that's okay. So tell me about what was your job in the Navy? I was a torpedo man. Torpedo man. And I see your hat, the USS Herndon. Yeah. Was that your ship? Yes. And tell me about how how you were selected to be on that ship. Well, I was in the mechanic in the uh, gunnery department, of course, in Florida and everything. Mostly, uh, my job mostly was scraping and paint and repainting. <laughs> and then, of course, I had a, when you were on the ship. Where did, where did the ship go? Yeah, I made about three trips to England and Ireland and Italy. Went in the Mediterranean. I heard about three or four different ports on the North Africa. Okay. And, and so what, what, what is that place right there as you go into the Mediterranean where you see the Spain right across the road, stream right from me. Okay. Is the city under under underground thing? I mean, that's Atlantis. What? Atlantis. I know, but I say, whoa! I can't think. That's trouble, man. That's okay. Get thing like that. What? I, I remember. Did, did your ship? Remember the place real well because it was under underground and everything. Okay. That's where I was challenged to fill a boxing match or they boxed it So he so you boxed on the ship? I did I didn't get along with him when I first got aboard the ship. I was a torpedo striker. He was a regular Navy man, I reckon. He gave me a rough time around a bit and me and him got into it. Different times. They was boxing up on the forecastle or what I did at that place. So did you actually I better sorry my I challenged him to a boxer and I said, that's me and you up from a box. Who got into it with that? I had to be looking at the lid coming and knocked him down. I got to bed. Oh, he didn't want to. And I called him a <laughs> yellow thing. And he finally said, you okay? I said, oh, we okay. He didn't want to. I had a bad mistake. Every time I first swung, he's hit me. Oh, wow. He's, he's from uh, New York. Uh, And then the first Saturday, oh, well, Holman Wood Johnson, Golden Gloves champion, Syracuse, New York. <laughs> so, did when you were on your ship, did did the USS Herndon see a lot of action against the enemy? Yeah, the only ship all day. We had all kind of see, I was a torpedo and ten of the dip charges. 
mm-hmm. Requies. I remember I doing the dip charge control where we had phone on there. They were not supposed to. We didn't phone them. They were not supposed to out there on the outside. Of kind of helped the lookouts for it some night. Well, boy, it is a night. Atlantic Ocean, it was just rough and everything. You couldn't see nothing out there. Mm-hmm. Sigma would come out, and I, I went back inside. Of course, I could talk to the dip charge watch down on deck. So, one of them officers bumped into me and said, Who is that? And I told him, He said, Check me outside. I said, Your place right here when it's outside, for Shippies, look at you couldn't see that. It was a dark. And it, all you see is water. We 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 under we under water about as much as on top of it. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a submarine anyway. Did you ever get seasick? No, never did get seasick. No. Never did bother. Then I made a trip across. I went to torpedo school in Norfolk, Virginia, and my ship was over Mediterranean. I got a, on a troop ship. And, Went over. I, I got sick on that trip. I heard it all in soldier letters. You see, <laughs> that's what got me sick. All right. Well, and it was quite an adventure for a young man. <laughs> how long were you on your ship? <laughs> that's gonna be hard to take how long I was on there. That's okay. Do you? I just got a. I got a boot camp. Went to. Torpedo school, and then what was going on? See, I forget exactly what to put, what to say, but it was probably got wrote down somewhere. Do you remember the food on the ship? And the what? The food. Did they feed you well? Yeah, I remember the food. We had, we had very good food. Of course, you fixed it several. I got sick one time after we went to the Pacific Ocean. Some reason they punished me, put me on mess cook duty. And on that ship, it was rough that day. Well, you, you, you had, oh, you plate on one hand or something, because you, you turn loose of it, and it'd be up in the air and flying, and food be a worse. And I'm, new hands, they'd all got sick, and all that bad. That made me sick. I didn't, I didn't get sick from it. See, all that mm-hmm. food and vomit, you know. <laughs> So I went up there with the boys and one of them came out of, oh, salt's sick too, huh? <laughs> so, what what other memories do you have from being on the ship? Yeah, I know that once I was on a, let's see, uh, the only ticket I ever got for Jay Walker was when I was in. Hawaii, Honolulu. And, and what? He gave me a ticket. It was his officer. He blessed them fellas up for giving me a ticket. Of course, they just doing their job. I, mm-hmm. I, did, I didn't wait until I got out there to throw some away. How long were you in Hawaii? I don't remember that, but he said so. Where, where else did you? So, you, you've been to Norfolk and Hawaii. Where else did, did you go? Went to uh, Shanghai. Chifu in China and Korea and I went with several places and had liberty in two places in Italy. Well, what was liberty like? Huh? What was your liberty like? What? Liberty, when you said you had liberty, when you got off the ship, what kind of things did you do? I did go around around to see what I could see. I got my liberty card there again. They're welcome to have that They must give too many of them. If they are there. It's been with Merlin where I went to boot camp. So that's your liberty card. Yeah, liberty card. At, at liberty. Wow. So 
what el what else can you tell us about serving in the Navy during World War II? Well, I, I don't know. The literary department in Washington, I was a paddleman. Put the big powder case with five inch gun mount. It's about that big, around about down long, with just pure powder. I put the powder in the gun. This other guy where he got the shell put on top of it. We had rapid continuous for it one day. And he said, Hey, he said, what one of them I didn't put her shell in? I don't know. We rapid continuous for it. Did your ship ever get attacked? Not once. It didn't. When the boom, when much of it didn't recoil, they called it from the control room. I went, what, what's happened down there? His forwards got shooting out of it. Was it a gun? Hmm. I didn't tell him that old boy. Oh, I, worked, I guess I should have. He's the same one who was in New York. We saw we were turning to suck on some new hands and he's showing them everything. He said, This is a depth charge. All we had to do is pull this right here. He's forward that time we were in port. Well, if that thing had a set on it, we wouldn't have been here. Wow. Hey, but there's a whole lot of things. There's funny things happen. And did we, we did. Yeah, here I had this powder cake ready to put it in it, but it recalled it. Of course, I threw that shell out and I jumped out. <laughs> did uh, did your ship ever get attacked while you were out at sea? I don't know. We 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 scolded Lucky Herndon as everybody else. The other ships got hit, but, and it was in the in the fleet turn and. and Aircraft carriers, if a pilot went over and fell in this ocean, we'd, we'd go, we get him out and send him back to the ship. They send us ice cream for him. Wow. Yeah, we was underwater. We, 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 you was on that ship, bro. Well, you went a ton and going up. I can't. You water take you up, and then once it be out, out, out and you, you just fall on one, you will be light a feather. One time I was in Atlanta, North Atlantic, I had the dip charge watching, I got off from work in the middle of the night, it's going to come a storm that night. And he had these hand holes, walked back to her sleeping quarters. Every one of them was back at that end, I got out. Hmm. You couldn't see nothing except when it's Latin. And if water face or other, one of them just got worse for I thought, hey, the next time it's Latin, it's just, come around the next time it's Latin, it's a little bit while you run across right, right quick. By the time I got midway, the big old swell hit us, I got caught in the side of Real in the right, they would have known what happened to me. <laughs> wow. Was that scary? Yeah, it was scary. I would never done that again. Yeah, I had a I had pretty, good, pretty good experience for a young man. <laughs> yeah. Did you have any brothers that were also serving? I had brothers in the Army. In the Army? Yeah, they all went in the Army. They had three brothers in the Army. Did you ever get to talk to them during the war? Yeah, no, we were seen him very much during the war. And I had had one brother. He was at the Pacific, right after he's in our first, right after the attacked at Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Then had one that's over in Europe. Okay. And. What um, so? You, what was it like working with the torpedoes, as, as a torpedo man? Yeah, it's quite a joke job. You run them pure alcohol. That's one thing. No, 
and we would get a go get her. Oh, all the way back back to the officer's quarters and go back there and get her alcohol to put it to run it on it. Come back through there with her alcohol and so some of them uh, uh, officers won't you put a little in her coffee. Well you slip some in somebody's coke or something, boy, you just take a little dab and knock them out. They wouldn't know exactly where they at. It's pure alcohol. We know oh, wow. 90%. <laughs> It was an adventure. Yeah. So what did you do after the Navy when you uh, were discharged? What kind of career did you have? You well, see, I went through. I was in a legal work, like I said, they made several trips escorting ship, uh, ships across over there. Mm -hmm. Then they, after we finished in Europe, I went, Went through the Panama Canal in the world. And that's quite an adventure stopping down in Panama. Well, tell me about it. Well, well. You see all them monkeys and everything. They lived in the earth. Yeah. It's a whole lot of things you forget, too. Mm -hmm. But you had a pretty good experience? I had a pretty good experience. I say, young man. I'm and how old are you now? Ninety-one. Ninety-one years old. Yeah. Yeah, I was eighteen when I went in. Okay. And when you got out of the Navy, what, what did you do? What was your, what kind of job did you have? Yeah, I got a permit to go to uh, college two years at Tennessee Western College, and they, they paid for that. Okay. Under the, what's the? Yeah. GI Bill. Huh? The GI Bill? Yeah, Bill, baby. Well, yeah. good. I had two years in it and, and uh, Hard End of Work. Went to Oak oh, Ridge first in Hard End, 50 cents an hour. Wow. Now come over to Alcoa and Hard End the same day. You got 80 cents an hour. Huh. I got a 30 cent raise. I come over that's right. Wow. What, um, tell me what, it, how it makes you feel to be a World War II veteran. And what? How does it make you feel to be a World War II veteran? It makes you feel pretty good about it. I'm good about it. I, mm -hmm. I say, I was a young man and they enjoyed a whole lot of trip stuff. Of course, I didn't enjoy all that far and them submarines underneath and shooting here and there and it might hit you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It ain't nothing bad about it at that time. Yeah, but your service had a big impact on our freedom. And uh, do you get thanked a lot? Do you wear that hat a lot out in town? Got a walk. Do you wear your hat out out when you go out in town? It's just camp, yeah. yeah. Do you get thanked a lot? Do people yeah, think? Yeah, it's, it's one of the people stop me and tell me they appreciate me. And they, I've had to run up and pay for them or whatever I was paying for them. Pay for them. Well, good. Stuff like that. So, you uh, went to China. Yeah, I was, I was, we was going out, we was out, going into China there. I mean, we was going, we was out there for, and uh, he's uh, pretty, pretty close to it. Officer going there, he's, yeah, I come by with a coffee cup, got me a cup of coffee and I was drinking coffee. He was said, hey, look at us. What do you see out there? I said, sir, I've done reported. It's a little ship over here, and it's a little light over, and this whale over shooting up water. And he said, you better see something else. If in 15 seconds, your hind is going to the Belgians. I got your glasses, look, look some more. There's a big old mine out there. Wow. We go got our guns in Florida and just smote it up. But you know what they had done, don't you? Mm -hmm. They got on the other side that reported the ship just turned. He put it on that side. I just, it, it pulled jokes on you. Oh, okay, got it. The ship turns. He, he reported on that side. I, I reported over there. Said, he turned over. That guy over there reported. He turned that ship on this way. It was on my side of one. That wasn't on there before. Mm. <laughs> so it, It's fun. So it, tell me about 
being in China, did you get to see any of the people? Yeah, yeah, I actually put me. They give me a little book when we get out there. We got liberty there. And they have it brought, wrote in English and then in, in Chinese and other place. Mm -hmm. And I handed this little bit. What do they call them? Little, they, they little buggies with a man. There's a man in there. Pull them. Rickshaw. 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 You remember what? Rickshaw. Rickshaw. And I said, if any of that is reported in where we want to go, it carry up here and me all over Shanghai. And did you and say? Anyways, we're going in the we're going in the sea. Of course, we we got there to see before we go in the port. We we dump all our salt and rubbish out. They'd be out there in little old boats and they they'd all jump in. The, the Chinese would be out there and they'd jump in the in the water there and get our salt. And were they hungry? Right out of right out of that old salty water. So they were starving. I felt sorry for them. Mm -hmm. And boy. See pictures of Chinese in China now. You don't feel sorry for them. I thought, boy, they were even here. We had put a guard on our slop can. Mm -hmm. They'd come in and fight over it or whatever. Wow. Yeah, I felt sorry for them. Mm -hmm. And now you see pictures of them, they their ships and things look better than ours do. I think they do most, most of our work anymore, buy mm -hmm. everything from China. They, mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel sorry for them. I think we they, we need to help them. So, after the war, um, I mean, were you assigned to your ship the whole time you were in the Navy? Yeah. And then you discharged from the Navy from the board that ship. And I lived. It went to, I was in uh, South Carolina up here. Uh, I don't know where the ship come in there. And he took me out of the ship and sent me to uh, over to Memphis. Okay. I went to Memphis, discharged over Memphis. Hmm. And, then, and then you returned back to Loudoun, or did you. What? I could make, yeah, I could make to Loudoun after, after they discharged me. Okay. How long have you lived in Maryville? We went, we went to work there for, in, in, in uh, 46, right after, after I got out there. Like I said, with a hard in there. Yeah, it's quite an adventure working there. Mm -hmm. It was a lot different than it is now. I remember one day I, I catch a bus in our loud. I was on day shift at the time. And I, I, I'd have to get up at three thirty, get everything on, and get get out of the kitchen. But it left, bus left loud at four o'clock. Well, wow. I got out of there, he's leaving. I was hollering and trying to get him to stop, but he didn't even wonder what he'd seen me or heard me. He taxi right across the road. And I said, I guess I you catch that cab. Yeah, he catch that cab for me. <laughs> He didn't try to catch no cabby. Don't go work plant and let me out. Hmm. Seven dollars. Eight dollars. I see. I was making a dollar an hour at that time. Well. <laughs> Anything else? Then about I was coming in. Went back from Loudon and over them four level over. It had come up a lot of snow that, that month and ice, all the roads were ice over. At first, when I was riding with he put on chains, though. If he had stuck somewhere, he was going to get home. Hmm. He put on chains, he got on a 411 there, and he's going on that hard pavement. He took them chains up. He's going about 50 miles an hour. His chain broke, and then we started just going sliding. You see him, but he's his rest driver. He's going this way, this way, around it. We didn't have no seat belt back at that time. Wasn't I? I was, Brace myself, try to when I hit something, go forward. All at once, I went sideways, tore that door off that car. Yeah, I on this side there, and I went out. I never did understand how it got over me. Evidently, it was twisted. It was twisted and turned. 
It's twisted around me, evidently. I hit the pavement. Wow. Wow. Right on my back and shoulders. That fellow was driving a car. He, he stopped about 100 feet down, down the road, road there. So I ain't wow. look back around. I don't know what kind of going to be in. Hmm. We walked back up for the Murray V restaurant. Oh, no, we wouldn't be in. But that next morning, I didn't break nothing. I would walk back up there. That next morning, I couldn't move. I was so all over. I, I missed about 10 days' work. Wow. His insurance come over. He won't pay me for 10 days. I missed work. Yeah. I didn't put in no complaint or nothing for that. Hmm. He said he didn't know and understand how I was still alive. <laughs> the third door is better. What happened? It? Yeah, that's going this way. It was sliding that way. Yeah, but it just pushed around me. And wow. then that time I was in the Navy and I was, I was watching a movie some, I don't know where, on, up on top of a gun map. And I missed that first panel over up there and I, I fell on that steel deck, wham, right on my back. And the fellas running around on the deck. I, just, I said, hey, fellas, I don't, I didn't feel a thing. I said, don't step on me, I can't move, I can't get up. Wow. I didn't understand what happened. There it is. And they, they put me on a little motor wobble and took me over to the hospital ship and x-rayed me. There wasn't no, nothing broke. I did a muscle in there, I reckon. Yeah. Is there anything else about the uh, being in the Navy that's you want to share with us? Yeah, I think of it in a minute for it. There's a whole lot of things that happen on that. I had some of it I made fun of it, and others of it. I didn't know how I was going to get through it. <laughs> mm -hmm. What? Because um... we, we dropped depth charge there once. I thought we should start on an enemy. Uh, Submarine. We killed a whole bunch of fish. <laughs> they jumped way up. Do you know if you got the submarine? Huh? Do you know if you hit the submarine? Don't know if we hit the submarine. You don't know. We hit them fish. Mm -hmm. And they came up? <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of them come up dead or they've been flipping up there. Wow. Well, we uh, really thank you for your service in World War II. And nothing, not, nothing, no other stories that you know of that you want to share with us? Any what? Uh, Do you have any more stories that you want to uh, share with uh, us? There'd be always a whole lot of it. I'm about to come to think of right away that you lived. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting paid back now for my memory for they go to my age. I'm doing pretty good. Well, you, did, you did really good today. But we. the fillers. A little over a minute, we tore, and I was still working. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't about 55 at that time. Mm -hmm. Well, he, he, he come by there and said, I know you. He said, I can't think your name. I thought of his name. I thought of his name right away, you know. I called his name right He said, yeah, that's my damn name. It's yours I can't think of. <laughs> <laughs> I do about the same thing now. I go to well, my work club meeting. I know them for her, but uh, when I see their faces, I know them. If we put a little tag on there for all of them, I can see their name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we really th thank you for doing this interview, and that now we've captured I, your story. I wish I could see you some more. That's okay. You did a great job, and we're uh, proud of your service, and we just thank you. I, I, I did good. Uh, you did great.